This is an engineering test unit of Naval Air System Command's GAO 12U 25mm gun mounted on an AV-8A Harrier aircraft. The engineering test unit, developed by General Electric, is the forerunner of the full-scale development system, which will meet the OPIVAL and production schedule of the AV-8B Harrier aircraft. The GAO 12U Gatling gun and the prototype armor-piercing incendiary projectile developed in a parallel program were first fully static tested at the Naval Weapons Center China Lake in February and March 1979. These tests showed the impressive accuracy and killing power of the 25 millimeter gun and projectile. In these ground tests, 80% of the projectiles impacted within a 3 mil circle. This was 40% better than the design specification of 5 mils. The armor penetration predictions for these ground tests was 2.1 inches. The prototype armor-piercing incendiary round with a depleted uranium penetrator performed 15% over predictions. Maximum armor penetration was 2.4 inches. With these ground tests successfully completed, the contractor accelerated construction of the engineering test unit for the next phase. Ground and air firings from a Harrier aircraft. The 25 mm gun system is contained in two aerodynamic blisters, similar to the existing configuration of the AV-8A. The gun is in the left blister. The ammunition is stored in the right blister. Following system tests at General Electric's Burlington plant, the engineering test unit was shipped to the Naval Air Test Center at Patuxent River, Maryland. At Patuxent River, the gun system was fitted to the AV-8A Harrier aircraft for the first time. The complete system was fired extensively on the center's aeroballistics range. The integration of gun system and aircraft proceeded smoothly, and no significant problems were encountered. Flight tests were the next step. These flight certification tests proved the system aerodynamically stable. During later flights, target practice rounds were fired to test the dynamics of the integrated system. During initial air-to-surface firings against targets on the water range, no undesirable characteristics were found. 
the system proved compatible with the aircraft. At China Lake, targets were being assembled for the 25mm system's most challenging test. A test of the gun's effectiveness against medium armor. These medium armor targets, American M47 tanks, and a Soviet T-62 tank, were postulated to represent the upper limit of the wide target spectrum against which the 25mm gun system provides a reasonable probability of kill. The medium tanks were placed 3,000 feet from the open fire markers and 2,000 feet from the ceasefire markers. These medium tank targets represented armor thicknesses from 1.8 to 6 inches. For some of the tests, the tanks were fully combat equipped with ammunition, fuel, and a plywood crew. As in the 1979 test, the rounds were newly developed 25 mm armor-piercing incendiary rounds with a depleted uranium kinetic energy penetrator. On four days, five separate flights and 22 firing runs were flown against the tank targets. During these anti-armor effectiveness tests, the gun system reached the 15,000 rounds fired mark with no in-flight stoppages. Only one stoppage occurred during all testing, this during ground tests. Reliability of the GAO-12U was over three times the mean time between failure expected for this engineering test unit. Firing one second and half second bursts, the system proved extremely accurate. During the flight on December 10th, 31% of the 260 rounds fired were hits on target. In the total of 22 passes against the tanks, 20% of the 1,248 rounds fired were target hits. The average open fire slant range was 3,440 feet. 80% of the projectiles fired in flight impacted within a 5 mil circle. The 5 mil circle is 2 mils smaller than the design specification of 7 mils. In these tests, the planned strafing tactics conform to a proposed anti-armor profile utilizing a five-degree dive at 500 knots with an open fire slant range of 3,000 feet and a ceasefire slant range of 2,000 feet. The actual open fire and ceasefire slant ranges exceeded those planned by an average of 400 to 600 feet, causing some decrease in effectiveness. The damage assessment team found several perforations in the armor of the medium tanks. Projectiles had penetrated turrets,
the side of the hulls, and engine compartments. Maximum armor penetration was 2.7 inches. Penetration consistently exceeded the predicted penetration curve. One round penetrating the T-62 turret passed through the tank's ready ammunition storage area. Another round destroyed the radio in an M-47 turret. Rounds which entered the engine compartment of the T-62 passed through the plane of the high-speed cooling fan, penetrated the core of the radiator, and damaged the oil cooler. The final drive hub assembly of an M47 was hit and perforated, resulting in the loss of lubricant and probable gear damage. Another round penetrated the side of an M47 near the fuel tank and would have destroyed the auxiliary power unit had it been in place. In another M47, a round impacted between the hull and the turret, preventing traversing of the turret. The barrel of an M47 was holed twice. Additional damage was done to tracks, road wheels, and suspension systems. In May 1981, the Gao 12U system was again tested at China Lake. The purpose of these tests was to add data to the statistical base used to estimate the upper limits of system performance. The flight profile was the same as in the October 1980 tests. To ensure maximum impact velocity, the pilot timed his end burst to be as close as possible to the 2,000 foot ceasefire markers. The approximate open fire slant range was 2,600 feet. The rounds were, again, armor-piercing, depleted uranium kinetic energy penetrators. As in December, a T-62 and two M-47 medium tanks were the primary targets. An M41 light tank, defeated in the 1979 static test, was an added target. During three days of flights, unpredictable winds and clear air turbulence seriously degraded system performance. Of the 1,213 total rounds fired, 15% hit the target. This compares with 20% on target during the calm weather of the December flights. Despite 35 impacts during eight passes, the T-62 received only 13 direct hits, and the tank was not killed. As expected, direct hits catastrophically destroyed the M41 light tank.
On one sortie, the 105 rounds fired scored 100% mobility kills against the two M47 tanks. In both M47s, armor steel 1.8 inches thick was penetrated as two rounds entered one M47's engine compartment and one round entered the engine compartment of the other. The mobility kills of the M47 tanks were attributed to perforations of the transmission case, which caused gear damage and high pressure oil leaks. Other rounds caused troublesome damage, like cut wires. This one flight showed that the Gao 12U system can completely immobilize medium armor. On another run, one round impacted in the battery compartment and ignited wire insulation and rubber hoses in the engine compartment. The M47's running gear was severely damaged. Wheel and support roller bearings were destroyed. Thread links and end connectors were damaged. Wheels were perforated. The running gear damage alone would have immobilized the tank within 20 kilometers. Heart failure and gun stoppage on May 22nd was the second stoppage in over 18,000 rounds fired. This performance continues to be nearly three times the mean time between failure predicted for this engineering test unit. Gao 12U gun system tests against a broad range of targets have shown the system to be a significant improvement over guns now used in Navy and Marine tactical aircraft. The tests provided data for establishing a statistical base to estimate the system's effectiveness against a spectrum of targets, including medium armor. During the tests, the Gao 12U 25mm gun system proved to be aircraft compatible, highly reliable, accurate, and effective.